Welcome and welcome and one and all. How are you doing out there? Can we shall we take a deep breath here? In through the nose, out through the mouth. I've been riding uh, 8.5 miles to and fro. I mean, to work and 8.5 miles back from work. Fat guy going to get skinny very soon, but I'm learning that as I'm pedaling and pushing and plumping my fat ass up the road. I'm going. And it helps. And also sitting under shady trees and drinking a lot of water halfway home. That helps out a lot too. Uh, we're getting into this today uh, for uh, Steve Bernard. Um, we're getting into the band Fudge Tunnel. Um, when I think of Fudge Tunnel, I think of Caius. I think of... Uh, I think of 90s, uh, what, what would you call that, desert core, desert kind of stoner, uh, stoner rock. Uh, and Steve Bernard, he's coming in from the Patreon, he said you got to do a song called, uh, God, what was it called? This, this album title, something else. Uh, the album is called The Complicated Futility of Ignorance, and the song is Random Acts of Cruelty. Instead of kindness, Random Acts of Cruelty. And so that's the song we're doing here for Steve Bernard today. First, what we're going to do is we're going to learn about this band and see what they've done, see where they're at, what they're, how they're living. And then we're going to get into that song. So let's do it now. Join me, please. Fudge Tunnel. They got 14,733 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. The top five jams, four of those come from a record called Hate Songs in E Minor. I think I'm going to like these guys already because um, I can't remember much that I heard from them. Uh, the first track from that album is called Hate Song, 220,000 plays. Then a different record, Gray, that's got 115,000 plays. Then back to the uh, Hate Songs in E minor album. Spanish Fly, 86,000 plays. You got Bad Crumbs. All crumbs are bad, especially if they're in your ass or your blankets or something like that. Uh, 57,000 plays. And then you got Sunshine of Your Love. Is that going to be that Cream song? Um, I'd be curious how many people have done a cover of Sunshine of Your Love, metal bands and stuff. That's got 57,000 plays. Uh, now we're going to get into them albums and see what this band has released uh, throughout their, their time as a band. And it looks like uh, Hate Songs in E Minor would be the first record that they put out in 1991. Then you got Creep Diets, 1993. The album, boom, that we're doing the song Random Acts of Cruelty from, uh, The Complicated Futility of Ignorance. Uh, that comes out in 1994, and then uh, In a Word comes out in 1995. So within the span of literally five years, they were there and then gone. Is that what's happening? They haven't done anything since 1995. I'd be curious as to uh, what the, the members might have went on to do in other uh, projects and situations. Now we're going to get into related artists, and this is going to give us an idea of what we're in for here. And my eyes just slowly glanced down at the first band, and I went, I'm going to like these guys already, because the first band on here, Godflesh. And the first couple of records from Godflesh, I absolutely highly enjoy, especially Street Cleaner and, uh, oh God, um... Uh, I'll get back to you on that. Of course, you got I Hate God here. That's another stoner band. Crowbar, come on, baby. You know, I think we're putting them in the right spot. Um, amazing band whom I've seen. Now, you're not going to believe this, but I have seen live. And when they were on tour, they stayed at my apartment. Today is the day. I can't remember the singer's name. Scott something. But yes, um, uh, Fun Nugget, the drummer for Mastodon, used to be in Today is the Day. Uh, you got the band 16, you got Soylent Green. Um, Weed Eater, yep, this is going to be Stoner. Grief, you got Unsane, I've seen Unsane, they came with uh, Entombed. Uh, the Obsessed, I want to say it was Entombed, The Obsessed and Unsane that I saw. Acid Bath, we've done tons of Acid Bath on this channel. Uh, well, two or three. Uh, uh, Buzz Oven. That sounds familiar to me. And Black Cobra. So there is the related artist for the band. There is no image. We're going to get into that bio now. There's no image of the band. There is a bio. So I will hunt down an image of the band. It'll be them. They'll be saying, hey, hip hop. Yeah, we got in. We got out, man. We banged it. We delivered all the goods that we could do, Shane. And then we, did, we called it a day. So get over here for a hi-fi and a nice cold beer. 
Despite their rough hewn, incredibly heavy feedback drench sound, I love that already, Nottingham's fudge tunnel quickly transcended the obvious heavy metal tag to find widespread critical praise outside such limits. And while their support never did translate into commercial success, it is interesting to note that Fudge Tunnel's surprising crossover appeal, along with their low-key image and absolute lack of pretense, marked them as an unhailed British predecessor to the Seattle scene. Huh. So there you have that. This uh, EP, this uh, bio goes on like a like a novel. Uh, but we're just going to leave it at that, and then we're going to get into the song for our buddy Steve. So let's go down here to the album, the 1994 album, and we're going to get in. It's the first track on that album, Random Acts of, of Cruelty from Fudge Tunnel. And I'm predicting I'm going to enjoy this quite a bit because uh, that band list was pretty pretty good, and I like... Uh, I like uh, heavy uh, stuff, and I like industrial, you know, stuff, and I like uh, uh, stoner stuff. So, let's do it now. Steve, there's a the tat. It's going in for you, babe. There we go. Random acts. Let's start now, just the way I thought it would. Noise. Yeah! That bass! Not quite as stoner as it is, uh... I don't know. Post hardcore ish a bit. Yeah, there's this sloppy chaos. I like that voice too. I like that bass player. He's he's kind of he's not he's not rolling with a guitar. It's almost, in a good way, it's almost like they're slightly out of tune with each other. Good luck! Good luck. I didn't know if that was popping into another track or not. There's your pit. Tighten it up. I mean, it's great the way he's doing the bit. Right 
I mean, I can see these guys with a band like Quicksand or something. It's like uh, getting drunk and riding a skateboard in the middle of the night. Nice fade out. Bring in Harry. Bring it out, boys. I like that. I'm going to go listen to more Fudge Tunnel. That is a band that escaped me, and I heard the name. I remember uh, that was uh, the joy of irony. I hit the button too quick, but that was sounding kind of tasty there. Another guitar riffy bit there. That was a band name I had heard, and it was around those Caiusy days and stuff like that. Uh, uh, oh, Cathedral was another one. So I, I always kind of lump them in. I don't even know if they, they are kind of in those same comparisons, but Caius Cathedral, Fudge Tunnel, stuff like that was, uh, I just didn't listen to it. I'm going to go back and listen to that. I'm going to go listen to that record, and I'm going to go back and listen to that first one because that's, uh, hate songs in E minor or whatever because that was the uh, it looked like that had some traction It had a lot of uh, quite a quite a few songs there that uh, were pretty popular with everyone uh, But what say you I need the fudge tunnel heads to get in those comments and tell me what you think uh, Steve Bernard will be in there. He'll be telling you what he thinks of this because he put the damn request in uh, So get in there and tell me what you think good great fantastic Shane. I'm a huge fudge tunnel head man I can't tell you I love these guys. How many times have you seen them live? If you're saying you're a fudge tunnel head, then prove it. How many times have you seen them live? Uh, what is your all-time favorite album? Is it the Hate Songs in E minor? Uh, or is it the song, the album that we just played the song from that I, I can't remember the big long title for now, all of a sudden? Um, all-time favorite songs, all-time favorite album from this band, and have you ever seen Fudge Tunnel live? I'd love to know what that was like. Why did I think that I saw only three fellas? Uh, when I was looking up the logo for this band, I thought I only saw three dudes in the image. So is it a three-piece band? Because that's even better if it's a, usually a lot of those stoner kind of stoner bands are three pieces. The pie cuts up way nice that way. So get in the comments and tell me exactly what you think of them. Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, it was sloppy. You're right. It was slightly out of tune. Um, he was screaming and gawking and yelling and a squawking about everything. Um, and it just didn't hit me. It kind of, uh, it, it just kind of, it was an okay song, but it was nothing that I would listen to on the regular. It's nothing that I would go hunt down. It's not my cup of tea. I don't want it. I don't need it. I'm out of here. All of that can be put in the comments below because that's what we do here. I like to get down there in the comments and read your thoughts, your opinions, your feelings, your memories about these songs that we do. That's the most important part to me is people telling me stories about this is what happened the first time I saw Fudge Tunnel Live. This is what happened the first time I heard this song. It got my toes tapping and I went to the record store and bought it, okay? So do that. If you have a hard rock or heavy metal special request, you'd like to see it on this channel. It's a very simple and easy process. Hit one of them links that's down there in the description below, or you can put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments, I see it. I like it. We haven't done it here on the channel. You'll know because I'll hit it with the heart and tell you I'm going to do your request for you, okay? That's all I got. Mmm.